Hello everyone, I am back today with the activities related to the liquid pressure. That means the pressure exerted by the liquid which is also known as hydrostatic pressure. So hydrostatic pressure is the pressure exerted by the stationary liquid. The properties of the hydrostatic pressure is that it does not depend upon the area of the bottom of the container. That means if you will take two containers which have different areas then uh, with the same uh, liquid with the same height then the pressure exerted by both by the liquids in both the containers having different areas having different bottoms will be same in both of them because the liquid pressure it will not depend upon the area of the bottom of the container. It also depends upon the density of the liquid that means more density, more liquid pressure, less density, less, di less liquid pressure. So the liquid pressure exerted by the honey or glycerine will be more as compared to the liquid pressure exerted by the water at the same height because the density of glycerine and honey it is more than the water. The next property is that it depends upon the height of the liquid column above that point that means if we consider this diagram there are three points three holes a b and c the liquid pressure will be maximum at point c because the height of the liquid above c it is much much more as compared to point a so the liquid pressure it depends upon height of the liquid column above that liquid the next is that liquids they exert pressure on the walls of the container that is why when you inflate a balloon with the water it is spherical in shape because the pressure is exerted on the walls of the balloon. The next last property is that if we apply any external pressure on a liquid in a closed container it is transmitted uniformly throughout the liquid that is why if you apply any pressure on a balloon which is filled with water it is transmitted equally in all the throughout the balloon so that means the liquid pressure is exerted or transmitted uh, the it, the pressure will be transmitted uniformly throughout the liquid in a closed container. So these are the properties of the liquid pressure. Now we will start with the help of an activity. Let us enjoy all the properties of liquid pressure we have studied with the help of this activity. The first property was that liquid pressure does not depend upon shape of the bottom of the container. This is a circular shape and this is a hexagonal shape as you can see in the picture with the same height of the liquid column in this and the area of the bottom is also different. But the pressure at, at this point at the same height applied by the liquid it will be same because the liquid pressure will be same if it the area of the bottom of the container is different also it as it does not depend upon the area of the bottom of the container. The second property of the liquid pressure is that liquid pressure it is exerted on the walls of the container. As in this case we have taken a balloon which is filled with the liquid water. So we can see that shape of the balloon it is spherical in shape and that is why we can verify that the liquid pressure it is exerted on the walls of the container due to which it has acquired a spherical shape. Now we can see that if we I am applying an external pressure on this balloon we can see that that pressure which I have applied on the top of the balloon it is equally transmitted in all the direction. So this is the next property that an external pressure applied on a liquid in a closed container is transmitted uniformly throughout the liquid. So these are the two properties which we have studied with the help of this balloon. So this is the activity which will prove us that the liquid pressure it depends upon height of the liquid column above that point. If we consider this hole A then this is the liquid column which is above it. B the liquid column as compared to A it will be more as compared to A. Then the C the lowermost one the liquid column is the maximum above C as compared to A and B. This is whole liquid which is present above C. So let us see how liquid pressure will depend upon the height of the liquid column whether it is same or whether it is unequal and in which case it is maximum. So let me open the cello tape over here. So we can see with the streams of the water which will come start coming out. 
as you can see the water coming out from the point C it is with maximum pressure then from B it is very much clear from the stream itself and then minimum will be from A. So, the maximum pressure as you can see now it is more clear now that from A the pressure is minimum because height of the liquid left is very less than B and the maximum pressure it is still exerted on the point C. So, the liquid pressure is maximum at point C as compared to B and A. We have just now seen in the activity that the liquid pressure it increases with the increase in the height of the liquid column above that point. That means it will increase with the increase in the depth of the liquid. Now we will see in this activity that the liquid pressure it is equal in all the directions in a, any liquid column and at the same height it is same the liquid pressure is same at the same height in all the directions there are two holes a and b at the same height now let us see that the liquid how liquid pressure is exerted at these two points We've, we are removing the tapes I have covered the bottle with my hand. So now you can see that the liquid pressure is exerted equally in both the direction at the same height. So at the same height the liquid pressure is exerted equally at point A and point B in the different direction.